What's up adventure seekers? Welcome back to another adventure here in Italy. In fact, we are in Bologna. This city is all about three things. Portico culture. Whatever they are. Beautiful churches and towers. Yeah, and we're going to be giving you the must-see adventures when you are here visiting this beautiful city. Let's go. Wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right. Well that was unexpected. Just up the high street we saw this very big building. We weren't quite sure what it was. We stepped inside and it's this huge, beautiful cathedral. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. The very first must-see on our list is the statue of Neptune found here in the Piazza del Nettuno. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing. Like oh na na, oh na na, yeah. Oh. The next top attraction is Piazza Maggiore. It's the beating heart of Bologna, built in the 15th century. It's a centre of life in the city. Today, for example, they've got an outdoor cinema. It's also about five minutes away from the rest of the top attractions that we're talking about today. now is the Basilica di San Petronio. It's one of the top attractions here in Bologna and also one of the biggest churches in the whole world. One thing to be aware of, of course, this is a place of worship, so they strictly enforce the dress code. No hats and no bare chest and shoulders. You have to look respectable. They do sell pashmina type things in there. If you have a euro to spare and you want to cover up and you have nothing with you, um, you can also also buy a wristband for two euros which will allow you to take photos in there and that's a donation towards the upkeep of the church which is fair enough fair enough fair enough now the scale of this place is genuinely huge the pillars in it remind me of the hall of the kings in J A J M. The pillars here remind me of the Hall of the Kings in the Dwarven Kingdom from the Lord of the Rings. It's massive, and people here just look like matchsticks next to them. That we should be together. It's heavy weather. We're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. We only need the Interesting fact. Bologna's got 40 kilometer porticos. They're all absolutely beautiful. But what is a portico? It's one of these things just behind me here. Which provides fantastic shelter from all kinds of weather, which is always a plus when you run out of sun cream. And a great location for shops and our next destination, which is a must see. Oh, the Museo Civico Archeologico. Let's go and have a look. The next must-see on the list is the Santa Maria della Vita. This is a church that houses terracotta figures, artwork and Baroque architecture. When you're around, I know I hardly speak. You got me now, oh baby. Second bonus tip, if you're staying in Bologna, then why not? Stay in a tower. Prendi Party Tower is, uh, is actually a B&B. &B. It's a bit of a cheat because only one person can stay in there at any one time. But if you're gonna do Bologna, why not stay in a tower? The next absolute must see when you're here in Bologna is La Dui Torre. What does that mean? It means the two towers. Uh, one of the things about Bologna is that it used to have 180 towers. And how many do they have now? I know, about 20, I think. There's two specific ones. 
which we're going to go and have a look now. One has got 498 stairs in them, so we're going to put pregnant Anna to the test and see how her calves work out. Probably not very well. He'll be carrying me back to the car. But yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, we're about to start the 498 step, step ascent with Bump and him. I'm, I'm I think the he's going to slow me down. Yeah. It's 5:34. Starting the ascent. <laughs> Nearly at the top? Yeah. No! Because I can't believe what I found. You try to hold me back and control me. Everything so great that was spoiling me. You start fulfilling prophecy. I can't leave that So we made it in just 12 minutes, which I think is pretty impressive. I mean, did for a pregnant so lady. Well. Yeah, I know. I want to my life. You're not supposed to grab her. You're not supposed to grab a high five. I just never know what to do when you finished it. You just... <laughs> I'm just going to introduce you to a few of our new friends. Derek, Egbert, Bernard, Edward, Simon, James, Matthew. Our next must-see attraction is... Basilico di Santo Stefano. Well remembered. This is a collection of churches which date from the 5th to the 13th century. Most of them have been knocked down now, but... Still some good ones standing, we hope. Let's go and check them out. Find out. sponsored mention or anything but we've been using an app called visit a city and it has been really really helpful it's helped us to understand what to see how long it's going to take and exactly how to get there so um, i'll put a link in the description box below it's a free app go for it it'll really make a difference to your visit i can control it you're in my skin i'm moving closer our final must-see destination is... Basilica di Giacomo Maggiore. Well remembered. This is known as one of the most beautiful churches in Bologna. So if you have time, then do go and check it out. But it is a practicing church, which means that there's often services. You need to be wearing the right clothing and yeah. there's no cameras or videography allowed. Yeah. day in Bologna and before we leave we cannot go without having a plate of bolognese. 
that we're sharing. So, uh, guys, if you found today helpful, then please show your appreciation by giving it a thumb. If you have any tips yourself, then put them in the comment section below. And if you are visiting other places in Italy, then check out the description box because we've made lots of videos, haven't we? Mm -hmm. During our road trip of Italy, and so there might be something else that you find helpful. Otherwise, take care and... Arrivederci! Arrivederci!